And we're going to try to give you a little bit of a different take because in the lead up to the draft, it's sort of the same narratives over and over again with the Jets and the Giants. We think we know what the Jets are going to do. And we're going to get to that because we're going to quarterbacks. We're going to go through the buy or sell stock on each of these prospects. And Zach Wilson, the next guy, and there's a lot to talk about with Zach Wilson because he really looks like he's going to be the New York Jet quarterback. From BYU, stats are off the charts. He's got the look. He's got the he's got the arm. We've seen the arm at the pro day, but did he play anybody of note? Did he play anybody uh, competitively that really gets you energized about him being an NFL quarterback? I think that's the question. Are you buying or selling Zach Wilson? Yeah, uh, I, I I'm buying Zach Wilson, and I'm really buying him because of what I've seen at his pro day and from his time at BYU. BYU. He's got probably the best arm out of any quarterback in the draft. And the last time I think about arm this good, was I think about Josh Allen. And there are a lot of question marks about Josh Allen, but he turned out to be a, one of the top QBs probably in NFL right now. I think you make a case for top five. So I think uh, Zach Wilson with an arm like that, I think he's almost a lock for the Jets pick at two. And I think there's for some concern about are the Jets going to be able to put a team around him for Zach Wilson to succeed? I think, there are questions, but Matt Lef- uh, Mike LaFleur offers a ton of promise and Joe Douglas number one priority has been working on the O-line. So I think that helps his case a lot. I think Corey Davis being there as a wide receiver, obviously all this is if Zach Wilson goes for the jets, but I think that's what everyone's been saying. I think that's most likely where this is heading. So for those reasons, I'm liking Zach Wilson and I think he could help turn around this jets team maybe not to the top of that division, but for a couple wins and improvement off of last year. So for those reasons, I'm going to buy Zach Wilson. So this is a big question for me. Am I buying or selling Zach Wilson? From my perspective, I don't really have a choice. I got to buy him. I got to buy into him. I'm a Jeff fan. I, I, this is our guy. I'm going to get the Jersey on draft night. As soon as they say the name, I'm going to the website. I'm buying the Jersey because he's the quarterback. That's just how it works. And I don't have a choice, but to support him fully. I wish I did have a choice in this, but I do not because I did the same thing when they drafted Darnold and it didn't end well for me. But, you know, I I don't know the guy well enough because I didn't watch a lot of BYU football, but I I look at the the numbers, the numbers are off the charts and it's not just for last year. They've they've been good uh, for his time there. Um, I worry a little bit about the size. I don't think he's, I don't think he's even six one. I mean, I, I I don't know what they measured him at, but he doesn't look like he's six two to me. A little bit of a concern there. Durability, a little bit of a concern. He's got a couple of uh, shoulders, both shoulders, I believe. So I worry about that. I'm just trying to do my due diligence because when you're a Jet fan, you, you're ready to get disappointed. You're ready to get it wrong. wrong. Obviously, it's new leadership, but I just can't anticipate them getting it right ever. But when all is said and done, no matter what I say, I'm going to be an optimist and I'm going to be pumped and we have a new quarterback and that's it. But I mean, how many times with this? Your thoughts on Zach Wilson as a BYU product, as a guy who isn't necessarily playing the most competitive teams, you know, they're independent. And also as a guy who comes from a program that beyond Steve Young, I, I don't think has produced a quarterback and Steve Young is a pretty good one, but beyond him, there's just not a lot there. Yeah. I, I see those points, but when you see the pro day Zach Wilson had and, and the big games in the pro uh, bowl games, the way he was able to throw the ball around, I think it's hard not to see the talent there. And I know the narratives that have been built around him. I mean, Justin Fields was the second overall pick as of, four uh, weeks ago and no football was played in the time Zach Wilson rose and Justin Fields fell. So I think that is a very interesting way things went around, but I also think that Zach Wilson's ability is definitely there. And if you put him with, with around pieces, like he had a BYU, I think he can definitely put up points on the board and the Jets should be excited about taking him at two. All right. All right. I hear you. I'm buying him. I'll buy him. I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it. If you're saying it, everybody's saying it. I'm going to get excited about it. I'm still, I'm going to be nervous because and I have to be that again. 
What's like, that? Get your heart ripped out again. Like exactly. Uh, that's why I can't, that's why I can't get too excited. I mean, how many times am I going to fall into this trap, but I'll get the Jersey. I'll get behind him. If it doesn't work out, I'll throw the Jersey in the garbage I already have with the Donald. So we'll see.